Democratic Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois was surprisingly forthright this week about why we need mass immigration to the United States. Immigrants, Durbin says, provide the low-paying surf labor that American employers so desperately want. Watch. Take a look. It's, next time you go into a nice restaurant in Chicago, a city I'm honored to represent, look who just cleaned the dishes off the table. And when the door swings, take a look at who's in the kitchen doing the dishes. By and large, it's going to be immigrants who are doing those things. Not many of us say to our sons and daughters, I'm hoping the day will come when you decide to go and pick fruit for a living. Hardly ever hear that because we know it's hard backbreaking work and immigrants do the work. So many jobs that they fill are jobs that Americans aren't jumping to fill. Actually, fruit is picked by machines, but whatever. Ryan Eller is executive director of Define American, an immigration advocacy group, and he joins us tonight. Ryan, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me, Tucker. So it's so striking for someone as old as I am to see a Democrat make this case. So there are millions of Americans who can't get by. Um, half the country can't get $400 on a day's notice. They just don't have any money. Millions of people are on food stamps. What they need are higher paying jobs. Here you have a Democratic senator saying no. The point is making sure that employers can pay as little as possible. And so we need to import a lot of people from third world countries who will work for less. How does that help Americans? And why isn't the emphasis on raising their wages? Yeah, well, uh, Tucker, I think what I would suggest that Senator Durbin was leading, uh, leaving out is the fact that uh, many immigrants, in fact, twice as many uh, as citizens start businesses. They come over, they try to bring their families to start uh, family businesses, uh, join families of faith, and sure, uh, many are working in our fields and our, uh, frankly, our agriculture um, industry would not survive if it were not for the three quarters of immigrants that are working in that industry, just like in many cities. No, that's, that, that's I'm, I, I don't know if your facts have caught up to current reality, which is that in, in agriculture is increasingly mechanized. It takes far fewer people oh, sure it to, to, it is, yeah, in, overwhelmingly mechanized actually. So among DACA recipients, just to pick a group about whom we know a lot, what's the single most common job for DACA? recipients working in restaurants. So you're yeah. talking about low wage, low skilled jobs, and you're also talking about people who are less educated than average native born Americans. Only 5% of DACA recipients have college degrees. So that's exactly the group of jobs that's going away because of automation. There's been a lot of study on this. It's very weird to me that you would import millions of people to do jobs that are disappearing. Why are we doing that? Well, because the more immigrants that come here, the more uh, jobs are actually created. So the rhetoric is good. And I realize, look, I'm, I'm here in Kentucky. We're a poor state. My own uh, family, matter of fact, I worked on a farm uh, when I was growing up. So I, I know what kind of backbreaking labor that is. And I know what we're talking about. I, I'm worried about that part of the economy, too. But the truth of the matter is uh, what we're talking about here is uh, has been the backbone of our entire country since the beginning, it's always been family-based migration, uh, as it was for your family. You're, what you're doing, and I, I realize that you're a minister, and I, and I get it, but you're making a kind of moral argument, I would say half-baked, but that's what, I'm making an economic argument. Do you know what supply and demand is? It's, it's, the, it's the rule, the never-changing rule, that if you have an overabundance of something, its value falls. So if you bring in a million new laborers every year, what happens to wages at the low end? Do you know? Can you guess? They go down. Well, all of the data is suggesting actually that overall, on the whole, wages go up on that economic argument. And I would oh. say that's the same for, for so your how have we problem. Okay, so how did we, just under, as an economic matter, how did we suspend the law of supply and demand when it comes to immigration? It applies to everything else in life. Sand is cheap because there's a lot of it, but that's not true for immigrant labor because why? Well, because the more human beings that are in a place, the more they can buy your products. The more human beings oh. that are creating businesses, uh, the more business uh, and entrepreneurship you have. That's been the trick uh, for all of American history. That's what has made our economy so vibrant. But and I hate to go back on that, Tucker. Well, but hold on. If So by that, and I, I think you're, I, I don't think you have the facts on your side, but just as a theoretical matter, if low wage labor makes you rich, why isn't Mexico richer than the United States? <laughs> well, first of all, I would suggest that you can go to defineamerican.com uh, slash facts matter. You can see all of these and facts. And it actually is richer than the United States. Oh, the fact. 
No, but if importing poor people makes you rich, why hasn't it worked for the rest well, of the world? Why is the America, why is the America, Tucker, that was good enough for my great-grandfather and clearly good enough for your great-grandfather who didn't have the merit that you're talking about to come, why is that no longer the America that's well, I would, I would, I would say you know nothing about, for one thing, my great grandfather. Second, I would say because the economy has changed. It's 2018. We are in a post-industrial part of the economy. It's also a lot easier to get here than it ever was. And by the way, McKinsey just estimated that by 2030 we're going to lose 73 million jobs. You seem not at all concerned by that. Yeah. And I bet you, if well, I looked at your donors, concerned. it would be yeah. big businesses who want cheap labor. I'm just throwing that out there, just a guess. But yeah, you're no, ignoring I, I, facts I, I, that are relevant to no, modern America. Matter of fact, I'm I, matter of fact, I'm I'm supporting those facts. Look, we ought to be concerned with the mechanization of labor. Immigrants are not creating.